My name is Ogundeko Ibrahim Adewali. Okay, what is the project your group has worked on? Yeah, the project is a solar powered refrigerator. Okay. And um, the main concept of it is okay, thought about tapping, renew, getting energy from a renewable source, which is the sun. So we decided to look for something we could do. Okay, let's use a solar panel, let's get energy from the sun, let's, let's connect it to a refrigerator. Of course, why did, why did we even choose a refrigerator? We would, we would not want to take a cold, a cold bottle of water, you, you understand. So we decided to look for something people will always want to make use of, so we use the refrigerator. But the interesting part of the project is this. Now, um, normally when you use a solar system, you, you connect it to an inverter to, to convert the DC electricity from the sun to AC for your appliance, and you need an inverter. But now we bypassed an inverter, so we are making use of a DC compressor. Okay, so um, in less scientific terms, what you're saying is the fridge would be able to work directly um, from the electricity supply from a solar panel yeah, without the use of an inverter. Yeah. So, what do you, do you think that um, the, if you were to put this out on a commercial scale, that is for it to be sellable on the streets, yeah. do you think it would be affordable by Nigerians? Yeah, that's relative. Anyway, for for me to convince a Nigerian to buy it, of course, the overall cost, setting up the system and getting the whole thing coupled, if I'm going to sell this, and I'll be selling it around them 270,000, wow, the ones will run away. But then I need to be able to convince you based on the situation on ground. Now, for Unilag, we pay 7 naira, 50 kobo per kilowatt hour of electricity. It's just a matter of time. In 2013, that money is going to get to 22 naira per kilowatt hour of electricity. And all you need to just do is just sit. Everybody should be able to do that little calculation for one, two, three, five years. You are going to the payback period. If you are going to buy the system, two hundred and seventy thousand, you will discover that after like five years, you would have recovered the two hundred and seventy thousand naira if you are paying for electricity to Nepal for just this food. So I need to be able to convince the um, the Nigerian, the average Nigerian that the project is viable over a long period of time. Solar systems are very effective. 30 years is working. So, okay. Thank you. Yeah. yeah that, that, that was... Yeah. I'm Honorable Shogu Amodo Ashim Taiwo, University of Lagos Engineering Society. Okay. A student body for the Faculty of Engineering of the University of Lagos. It's conceived in order for us to make our students research-oriented and to involve or engage them in activities that will help to promote natural development because for any society to grow, it can't grow beyond its intellectual capacity. So the faculty is charged or is set to bring or to imbibe the idea of research work into the lives of our students because uh, the program is started or is named in memory of late Professor Adelia Wojobi, who is everything any engineer could dream to be. He's an orator, he's an inventor, he's a researcher, he's a political, he's, an, he's also an activist. Definitely as an engineer, you should cut across all levels. And uh, since you are the one who brings about meaningful development in any country, and so uh, the success of any particular country nowadays is uh, the level of their engineering and science what we also believe the engineering faculty too should also be oratory oriented and for the oratory part we are training engineers to have a vast knowledge on how to communicate whatever their ideas are so that the uh, the entire community can get their message accordingly and aside that as an engineer you are not expected to know virtually what is happening in the economy but through this means we have made our students to be diversified to have or to take extra time out of just the engineering or science work to know what is happening. Because part of the topics being discussed is taxation and its relevance to the economy. For engineering, which is the cornerstone of our national development and the veritable tool for any for a developing country and the hope of the underdeveloped countries. Definitely for the research work that have been carried out here, we have carried out uh, one of the ways to improve on the voting system in Nigeria. Because the last, um, for the last election, there are a number of lapses which were discovered by some team, and they have really helped to trace out where all of these things can be improved upon. And there is a particular team as well trying to work on how we can help uh, assist the country in the power sector by making provision for a wireless power supply. 
through uh, some other means of technology. Because definitely for students, students are the only set of group that has adequate time for there has adequate time for them to involve themselves in activities that can help towards national development. But for any country to grow, it has to be self-reliant. We are looking for alternate sorts of uh, generative power. We are looking for alternate sorts of technology, which is the main motive of the Professor Yodili Aojobi. We don't have to rely on importation of goods. We have to make provisions for ourselves.